Happy Thursday. No, <laughs> my resistance to being vulnerable never ceases to amaze me. And I've, you know, there's many situations, and it, you know, there's definitely some that I have not been, I have not encountered, but even circumstances and situations that I've been through before, the resistance that I have within me to like, to talk about a fear of mine um, with a close friend and, um, but then when I walk through that, you know, that long hallway of, you know, complete aloneness met by some sort of resistance my own and then maybe somebody else's because they're defensive in some nature or they're basically meeting me emotionally with the same trepidation that I'm meeting them with. So yes, we're defensive. We're both a little scared. And then generally, if we can both stomach and uh, stomach the situation and speak responsibly and compassionately and respectfully what's on the other end of that resistance on the other side of that is uh, more unity a better understanding of each other's points of view and that's I don't know I, I think that's whether it's diplomacy whether it's um you know, diplomacy on a political front or a relationship or, you know, of any sort, an intimate relationship with a partner or a friend, business partner. I, I just, it doesn't, it, it's crazy. And then the ego gets involved and, you know, I'm afraid you're going to screw me over and all that unsaid stuff is, leads to such intense speculation I don't know it's intense it's it's I don't know it's, <laughs> it's funny ironic um, not that original and to be able to at least my gratitude to be able to call other people and talk about it and I don't necessarily want to I mean, I do, just because I want to make sure that I'm not as cuckoo as it feels. But having my community that that I can call and be like, "Hey, uh, this is, am I, am, is this an unreasonable reaction or emotion to the situation that I've just been exposed to?" And generally, it's like, "No, dude, I feel the same way." And then again, I feel like I am not alone. Like we don't have to do this. We don't have to do life alone. Not, not generally speaking. Luckily, some people do, I guess. And sometimes we voluntarily go through it alone because we don't want to have any of the uh, confrontations or discomfort that I described. And that's a choice. And maybe that's a really and my compassion for the individuals that don't want to go through that kind of discomfort I have more compassion for than anger so because I've been that guy and hope to not be that guy ever again much love